College sports hit hard by tragedy. Five student athletes taking their own lives in just the past two months. And News Channel 9's Casey Honobaum spoke with a few student athletes about the emotions surrounding this pressing issue. Professional athletes are humans. They struggle with mental health just like anyone else. But those struggles aren't unique to the pros. I don't think mental health discriminates at all. It doesn't matter who you are, where you come from, where you're going. Um, the severity of your mental health either. It could just be a one-time thing where you need some help. Caleb Munsky, president of the SUNY Oswego Athlete Advisory Committee, recently wrote an article on his feelings surrounding the shocking number of student athletes who've taken their own lives. Five in less than two months. I wrote the article mainly um, because I myself was struggling with some things and needed some, some clarification on, on, as I said in the article, what I was feeling, how I could help my friends. Like, you know, you get to run hills or something. If you miss it by a certain time, you got to do it again, do it again. And it just kind of makes you, uh, it builds character to an extent that makes you think that, like, you just become numb and you can work through anything. So I think just little things like that, especially in an athlete's world, it makes other things in life not that big of a deal because you've had to suppress pain and whether it's physical or mental in your sport so you learn to do that in your life as well. It's an issue Stacy Green is also passionate about. She lost her brother, a college track and field athlete, to suicide nine years ago. We have to discuss our mental health and be open about it and that's you know I think so many athletes don't they don't know where to go. They don't know what the resources are. And so I work really hard in particular in schools, both high schools and at colleges, you know, doing presentations, facilitating programs, talking so that they're aware that it's okay. If you break a bone, you would go get help to um, like a cast or physical therapy to help your bone or your sprain. So why not help, help yourself out mentally? Starting a conversation and erasing a stigma. In Oswego, Casey Honigbaum, News Channel 9.